Hello, Cancer. How you guys doing? How's my sweetheart Cancer's doing, huh? Well, I just did a video live. Um, and I did do, I think, one other video for you guys. Um, I have... I have all the mid-months to do. I did do two. I have Gemini and Libra already uploaded. If you're dealing with a Gemini or Libra, you can check out their video. Um, also, I want to let you know, um, if you would please, if my uh, content resonates with you, please subscribe, like, and comment. I'd appreciate it. Um, one other thing, I'm going to be starting to do private readings. I'm going to... I'm going to leave my email down in the description box as well as um, a way to get a hold of me and uh, I'm going to set up a PayPal account and Vimo. I'm told to do this. I was told that it's time to monetize. So I'm obviously I'm going to do your guys' readings and I'm going to do my lives, you know, as, as much as I possibly can. But I, I, I'm supposed to start getting into to doing private readings now. Um, still going to do channeling sessions. I can't get super chat until I have 5,000 subscribers. However, in the last three weeks, I added 125 new subscribers. I'm thrilled. And my subscribers become are my family. You guys are, when you watch me, you know, you might need to be doing something like I am. That's how I got into it. I knew I was supposed to be doing this. So, um, I will leave my email down in the description box if you would like a personal reading to go more in depth on what I'm doing here. And I'm also going to set up a Vimeo account as well that I can do bonus readings on there that um, will go on from the normal reading. Um, I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to try and set that up within the next week, too. There's a lot of stuff I have to get done. I've been plastered to my bed for three months. So, things happen when you're coming into Ascension and, and going through this process. So, how did you guys like the eclipse? It's pretty dope. It was pretty dope. Three in a row, three in less than a month. It was hard. <laughs> Either way, let's get on with your reading. I know I usually like to chit chat at the beginning of my um, videos a little bit, just to give you a little bit about my personality. However, your cards are cleaned. I did do that. And sometimes you might catch me puffing on a vape. I hope you don't mind. Okay. Central issue. You got the two cups. Cancer. got three or four here that just came out. Central issue. You have two cups. You have the three of swords in reverse. So you're coming out of some kind of heartbreak, possibly with a soulmate that you're really stable with as far as finance, financial wise. And now it looks to me like you're out of it. Like you're moving away into calmer waters. But some, like, this broke your heart. And I know you guys are sensitive. What is in the foundation for cancer, please? Spirit, can you please tell me what is in the foundation for cancer? From now until the end of August 2018. You have the nine of wands in reverse. It's better than in the upright. In the upright, it means you're up late at night worrying about all of this stuff that you have to do. But now you're in the reverse. So that is a good thing. You, I think, like, you kind of made it up in your mind to move on to a different... You could have been married to this person. I'm getting like 10 years. But 
but you're no longer even nostalgic about it. Somebody must have done something that hurt you. Like you're like, there isn't a nostalgia here. And you felt like somebody was holding their emotions. They were stingy. This is the stingy person card. And or they had issues that they weren't dropping and you couldn't live like that no more. And it could have been with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio in reverse along with and or an Emperor in the reverse. They could have fire and water in their chart. And or you have fire and water in your chart. However, these guys are in reverse. This could be a father figure as well. This is Aries. This is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is all in your foundation. They might have been holding they might have been holding finances from you. They might have been holding and they were extremely rude. In the reverse, those men aren't nice. They hold emo they withhold emotions, finances, lying. I don't know if that seven of want if that seven of swords comes out. I'm throwing this deck across the room. I kid you not. My my south nodes in cancer, so hang on. In your past. Whoop! Hang on. In your past. It's the only thing about cards flying. Get a page of cups in the upright. Could be a past partner. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A page brings, you know, news. Or gives offers. And right here you have the king of cups in your foundation. So this might have been the guy in your past that you might have married. Either one of these two. Either an Aries or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What's in Cancer's overview? Communication. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I have a feeling that you're going to be getting communication. And or, you don't, you don't want to deal with this communication. And I wouldn't either if it's with either one of these two. Just saying. Yes, I vape. So I hope you don't mind. I'm trying to quit smoking. Um, what is in the future position for cancer from now until the end of August 2018? Can you show me what is coming in for cancer? Okay. Dear Lord. Got the page wands. You got a quick message coming in. And or an offer. From a fire sign. You have a fire sign and a water sign in your foundation. They may be two people you're choosing from. However, I think the water sign is the one that you were possibly thought was a soulmate who broke your heart. And who withheld. You were financially stable. And now you're moving away from that. And you're starting to feel it. And you're worrying about things. It's in your foundation. You And then this emperor is in reverse. However, this is a fire sign coming in. But that's in your future. And he's going to offer the ten of cups. Aries is in your foundation. So if you're dealing with an Aries cancer. He's going to offer you what you want. It's fire energy. Unless this water sign here was an older male. Because could, you, he might be the father of your kids. And then you got with a fire sign. Who, or you're going to get, you're gonna, it, they're, they're coming in. How does cancer see themselves from now until... The end of August 2018. 
Postecliptiata. How does cancer see themselves? How does cancer see themselves? That one. Really? The Knight of Wands in reverse. Like, I don't know. I think you're gun shy about accepting offers at this point. You could be gun shy about accepting offers. Especially with this King of Cups in your, if you were married to him and he hurt you and there's a quick offer coming in and it looks real good and it sounds real good from a fire sign, you might be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, hold, hold your horses. Hold your horses. So people might be seeing that you're not accepting offers right now because maybe you're trying to figure out this whole situation here. How does others see cancer right now from now until the end of August 2018? How does others see cancer right now from now until the end of August 2018? Let's see here. Okay, that one. You're in deep thinking about stuff. Guess what? This has come out for almost every single reading. Everybody's been going inward with all of these retrogrades. I've told people what these, remember you heard it from Lisa first, what these swords more than likely stand for. And what this one down here is, is fear. It's fear. You got to lose fear of moving forward and moving into a much better life for you. Once these planets turn direct, which we have three turning direct in the next three weeks, thank God. We have Saturn, Mars, and Mercury all turning direct. So things are going to start picking up. Things are going to start coming in fast. You're going to have to make... Okay, one of the things that I had said in my one-channeled video, cancer, you can't turn your emotions off because you've been hurt. I know you want to, but you can't do it. Okay? And the reason why is because it cuts you off from your, your source consciousness. So that you, your intuition no longer is correct. You'll get a distorted intuition when you turn off your emotions. So, I suggest that you don't turn to drugs and alcohol. That's my first suggestion. Don't turn to substances. I don't see the devil anywhere here. I don't know. But I know that people who shut off their emotions, they a lot of times will turn to substances to keep that stuff at bay. But you're thinking about something and it's keeping you up. You have the nine of wands in reverse, so in your foundation. But it still doesn't mean that these issues aren't affecting your life. Think of them as um, spiritual... And it's weird to think of things like this because we only think of ourselves in our own body. But our, our energy extends out far, really far. Think of these swords as energies attaching themselves to you and holding you back. And it's all rooted in fear. Fear of emotions. Fear of, of getting emotional with somebody again. Fear of being rejected, isolated, abandoned. Yes, you guys are so emotional. So I can be too because I have cancer as my self node. I know all about emotions. I just, I'm just not getting out of it. Oh my gosh, your season was so hard for me as an Aries. <laughs> but, you want to know what? You got to find, find this core fear here. And it might be rooted in these things here. Whether it's abandonment, isolation. What was the other one? Rejection. Okay. I understand when someone's been hurt and cheated, on, if that's your case. To say F you, like, I'm just going to whatever. That's not a good idea. One of the greatest things that I have found 
with people is when they've been so hurt and they can come out better and more loving on the other side and move past that. That makes that the other person who hurt you feel like a dim light. So, just saying. This is coming up how other people see you like this. Like you're confused. I don't think you're confused. I think you're biding your time. I think you're making a cautious decision on what you're going to do. What is in Cancer's Hopes and Fears from now until the end of August 2018? Can you give me a card, please, Spirit? The Ace of Cups in reverse. You're afraid that you're not going to fall in love again. It's rooted in fear. Like you're heartbroken, I think, over whatever happened, and I and rightfully so. You need to heal. However, this can be turned into the upright real quick. You have offers coming in. So. Okay. Your outcome. Guess what? Guess what your outcome is? The Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Now you can look at this one of two ways. This person's extremely stable. And or... They have these elements in their chart, which is fire and earth. If you're dealing with a fire and earth, maybe an earth sign's coming in as well. I haven't really saw a whole lot of earth signs on here. This is the first one that came out. In your outcome. This could be a stable union. And you have the Ten of Cups with an offer, a page. You have the Ten of Cups with a, an offer. As in your future position. And he's a king of pentacles. Cancer. So. King of pentacles would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Guess who um, your opposite sign is? Capricorn. They're extremely stable, however, they have some issues with emotions. So, if you're dealing with one of them, just so you know, I honestly think that you're dealing with a fire sign. And it could be an Aries, because you have the Emperor here. You also have the Knight of... You have the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King. You have a fire sign coming in. Whether it's a Leo, Sag... Or an Aries. I want to know. Like, you guys have to tell me. And this is just in your main spread. I, I didn't even clarify it. Let's clarify, please. I want to know. I'm going to clean these a little bit here. Please, eat her wood. Let's clean these. Okay. Cancer. Why is this scenario with the Two of Cups? The Three of Swords in Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. What is this scenario all about? Queen of Wands in your central issue. Are you dealing with a fire sign? Maybe an Aries? <laughs> and or Leo Sag? Because it's really looking like that. This water sign's in the past, and this fire sign is in the future. What's crossing this Queen of Wands here? Why is. What's crossing this? Three cups in reverse.
there might have been a third, you might have been cheated on by maybe a water sign. You have multiple people in the situation. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could have been a narcissist. All right, what's the situation down here? The Nine of Wands in reverse, the Six, no more nostalgia because this person held on to his resources and he's in your, and he's not giving like he did and he's stingy and practically a narcissist. I had a carb flip up. Six of Pentacles. This is stuff you earned. This is stuff you earned. This might be like splitting, like you're getting your portion, like this is in your foundation, like we have to split assets. Ooh, there's another one that came out. Hang on. Let me look at this one. Queen of Pentacles. This is a very stable woman with very, could be a mom. Could be a mom. That's Vir Tar Taurus Virgo Capricorn. He's going to give you good advice on how to handle this situation. She'll look at everything from all sides of the coin. Oh, yeah. All right, why is the Page of Cups here in the past position? Why is this King of Cups, or why is this Page of Cups here in the past position? For Cancer. Oh, that's way too many. Oh. Way, 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 way too many. But these two did flip up. I'm going to keep them. Ten of Swords. Guess what? The Wheel of Fortune. This was karmic. This was a karmic cycle that had to happen. You felt stabbed in this. Either he came into the relationship like this. Like hurt. Stabbed in the back by all whatever. And you tried to love this person the best you could, but it taught you a lesson. That might be why, like, you're in this Four of Swords, how others see you. Like, you're not moving past it. But when the wheel shifted, I think you're past it now. Why is, why is the Six of Wands, oh, excuse me, why is the Eight of Wands, the communication card, in the overview? Why is, okay. hmm, okay, because there is some cutting words. Hold up a minute. <laughs> no, someone was being deceitful. There is deceit going on in communication. Someone was lying to you about stuff. And you probably, I'm clarifying. You probably caught it. You might have caught him. That's the lying, cheating, sneaky, stealing, no good, rot piece of crap. Sorry. When I see that card, it just makes me mad. You're very defensive, too. And or so are they. In their communication. Like, every time you fight about anything, anytime you talk, you fight about what happened in the past. And guess what? There's judgment. There's judgment coming. You guys might have also blocked each other, too. I don't see the eight of wands in reverse, though. But you're very guarded in your communication and how, what you say. Because maybe you're going through court proceedings and stuff to get a divorce. Why is the page of wands and the ten of cups here? You have the page of wands again. 
you have an offer from a fire sign coming in that's going to probably be good because look it's a, it's a fulfillment it's the ten of ten of cups page of wand clarified by the page of wand with the ten of cups you have a fire sign coming in But how others see you is not moving very quickly toward this. You're being guarded. And I understand why. Because whoever you were dealing with was probably a manipulator who hurt you really pretty bad. Probably cheating. And the whole nine. It could have been with... They might have cheated with the fire sign. That makes me mad. Hang on. Like, I'm legit shaking right now, guys. I'm, I'm mad. For you. If this happened to you, I'm sorry. Why does cancer see themselves? One just flipped up. Eight of Pentacles. You're working on it. You're working on it. You're figuring it out. An exit plan. You're figuring it out. You're working hard to get over this. But you feel like it's going so slow. Like I should be I should be over this by now. I should be over this by now. This is how others see you. Why is the Four of Swords how other people see cancer right now? From now until the end of August 2018. Like, it's good to go inward and it's good to release all that stuff. Just so you know. And crying is a good thing. It's a very healing thing. I had to do it. I had to release people. And... I'm free. I'm also single. It is what it is. All right. Yeah, your how others see you is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. How others see you is you're losing your ass. You're losing your sh you're losing yourself. Because you're overthinking all of this stuff that has happened. And I think you're afraid you're not going to find the right person again. Like, this person messed you up. And I'm sorry. And I'm going to pull a Romance Angel card for you. Because I think you, I need to. Why is the Ace of Cups here? You have the... Four, four of uh, pentacles. You're holding on. You got to drop it. You got to drop it. All those four swords, when you get off this reading, you got to drop fear. You got to not be afraid to let people in. Do not close off your emotions. Somebody else is coming in. Look, you have a fire sign. <laughs> this is in your outcome. You're going to be victorious. Either with who with someone stable. Either they have this in your chart. You have fire and earth in your chart. And or it's an Aries Leo Sag. Or um, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn coming in. And or this person is extremely stable. They're a king. They're not a page. They're not a knight. They're a king. Cancer. So, I'm going to pull a romance angel card for you quick. Okay. I'm only pulling one for you. And or two. Guess what? What you're supposed to... That was a past life relationship you had. I told you it was karmic. It was a karmic cycle that ended badly. 
past life relationship. You knew that you had known each other before. So I understand the tie. I do. However, you need to get your passion back. You need to get your drive back. You need to. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I'll read the extended messages of those real quick. Past life, past life relationship, but the passion one I will read. Past life relationship, we already know what that is. Passion. Your prayers for great love have been heard and answered. And it and it all begins with you. You have the power. Let me find my glasses because this is incredible. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I gotta find my glasses. Sorry about that. Passion. Your prayers for great love have been heard and answered. It all begins with you. You have the power to revive passion in your life. In fact, no one can bring it to you but you. You have to do this. In fact, no one can bring it to you but you. This card guides you to seek that which brings you great joy, such as a hobby, cause, or special activity. Anything that stirs your heart with joy will help bubble will help passion bubble forth and positivity flow into your romantic life. The romance angels say that having a passion for life itself is a requisite foundation for feeling passion in your love life. This means enjoying the moment completely and when you do so with your partner, you'll inspire him or her to romantically participate with you. If, you pres if you're presently single, you can definitely enjoy passion in your activities and hobbies. And who knows, such pursuits may provide an opportunity to meet a wonderful partner who shares these passions as well. So, you need to get yourself out there. You need to start going doing stuff. You want to find somebody? I need to take your guys' reading and apply it to my life because I haven't really got myself out there at all. I've been healing from a king of cups in reverse. <laughs> but he's gone. He's out of my life and I doubt he'll ever try and contact me. So, if he does, whatever. I don't care anymore. My person will find me but I realize like I can't sit in my house all the time. I gotta go start doing something start off with the gym either way i love you guys cancer that's your reading i hope that like you this made sense if it resonates please um comment in the comment section like subscribe and like i said i will be starting off booking readings and i'm gonna start hopefully start getting a few to do for next week um i'm gonna set up a vimo account and i'm also gonna set up a paypal account so that's your reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you, and I will see you for the beginning of September. Mwah. I'll probably try and get him out by the new moon. Okay? All right. Bye-bye. Love you.